and welcome! Today we're going to be looking at random word lists and dictionaries. I was recently asked how to generate a random list of words. Well, if you're running on a Linux system, or probably a lot of other systems as well that are, you know, I'm, I'm assuming BSD and whatever not, but on a Linux system, you probably already have a large list of words. Uh, so, for example, on my Debian system, if I cat out USR, share, uh, dict and the file called words, it gives me a big old long list of words. In fact, let's count out those. I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, WC-L and it says, uh, yeah, uh, 102,401 words listed in there. So what is that? Uh, that is from my dictionary file, which is, you probably already have one for whatever the default language on your system is. Uh, and this is used for spell check and word prediction and probably a few other things, but um, it's usually there. Some systems may have it under just USR dict words, uh, which obviously I don't have that there. Uh, Debian-based systems, it's going to be here. Um, I'm not sure. I've just read that it's in that location on other systems. Sometimes different distros put things in different places. So again, you can cat that out. If we were to list out what's in that directory list, you can see here that there's a, oh, sorry, in that directory, you can see there's a few files in here. And if we list this out as so, you can see that uh, uh, words is actually pointing to this file, and we can cut that out, and you'll see that it's the same file. Uh, and if we list that out again, you can also see that there's a prediction things looking towards this American English here. So we could actually cat that out as well. Let's see, cat. Let's see what's in there. So. Basically, just another list of words there. Uh, so that's a long list of words. Obviously, you can download lists offline, but this one's already on your system for your language. Uh, but how do you get random words? Well, if you are on a system that has uh, Shuff to uh, installed, which I've talked about in the past, Shuff is a, is a program that shuffles things. Uh, so we'll say words again, but instead of cat, I'll just say Shuff. And Shuff is common, at least on uh, Debian distributions. You should be able to install it if it's not installed. It's also built into BusyBox, so very, very useful. So it's going to just, every time you do that, it's kind of like catting it, but it's shuffling up all files. Obviously, if you don't have Shuff, you can use um, something like, you should be able to cat, and then I can say sort-r, I believe. And, oh no, that's reverse, maybe capital R. Yeah, it took a little bit longer, but that will give you a random. So that's another option. It's not doing it as e efficiently as Shuff, uh, but sort is definitely on your system. That's everywhere. Uh, so capital R will give you a random output there from that. So you can shuffle that way. But going back to Shuff here, Shuff also gives you a nice little option. I can say dash N10, and it will give me 10 words randomly each time from that file. Uh, going back to sort, I don't know if sort has a uh, limit. If I did like N10, no, that doesn't work. So what we could do is put that into head, and I will get 10, obviously capital R, we already said that. Again, a lot slower, but you'll get 10 random words each time you run that. And if you want a different number of words, you can do dash N and like say 20. So that's piping it. It's a few different uh, commands, but those are all commands that are definitely on your system already. But again, going back to the shuff command, we can say shuff 10 or 20, however many words we want. We can say two, or if you just want a ran one random word, you just say one. And every time I run that, I'll get a random word. Now, if I want to put them all on one line, so I can go back here and say um, 10 again, whoops. So shuff 10. What I can do is I can use something like TR. TR replaces a character. I can say, well, uh, if I do dash D and I give it the backslash N for new line character, it's going to put them all as one word. So it's removing the new line characters and just pushing them all together. If I want spaces between them, I can just say TR and I can just say uh, backslash N and then inside the next quotations, a space, and we'll put spaces in there, or I can do dashes, and we'll put a dash between each one. Whatever you're trying to accomplish uh, with these random words, you can do that. Um, and of course, as you can see, there are apostrophes in there, because again, this is used for um, spell check. So if someone has an apostrophe in a name, you want to be able to uh, get rid of, you know, use that. So you can do lots of different things. I can say shuff 10, and I can probably say grep dash uh, V. Uh, and then say in here, a uh, little quotation mark or apostrophe inside quotations. And V will give you a reverse, so it should give me every line that doesn't have. Of course, that's going to narrow it down a lot with my 10, because so I probably would want to do something like 
this. We'll say, we'll start with the grep command. And I'm just giving you options here on what to do. Uh, I can say grep all lines that don't have an apostrophe in it. And then we can shuff that and I'll put only 10 and then we can, so now I'm not going to get any words that have uh, an apostrophe in it. Uh, you can also, you know, do something like this. Again, I'm just giving you options here with TR. I should be able to say capital A dash capital Z inside brackets there uh, to inside brackets lowercase a to lowercase c. And I believe that's the command that will make everything lowercase. So that will remove. And if you want to do it the other way, you can go A Z to capital A Z. And now it will uh, uppercase everything. So those are a bunch of different options there on ways to play around with random word lists. I hope that you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, check out my other videos at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There is a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. There you can search through all my videos. And um, if you like my videos, think about subscribing, commenting, sharing, all that great stuff. Also, if you go to filmsbychris.com, there's a support link. It'll bring you to, uh, you can either support me through Patreon uh, monthly or PayPal if you want to do a one-time thing. Those links are there. Also, check out the description of this video. And if you can't support me that way, support me by liking and sharing my videos. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.